today we're exploring Bosque Chapultepec. We're going to go to the food court area, or there's a food questos area, get ourselves some street food for lunch, and then we're going to go over to Castillo del Chapultepec, which is Chapultepec Castle, and explore over there. Let's go! Let's go! Vamos! Wow, look at that. It's an incredible monument at the far end. I don't know if you can see it yet. Now we're going to zoom in here. That's the monument to the Niños Heroes. It's a monument to the hero children. Um, a bunch of children who, during the drive for independence, somehow they threw themselves off a cliff. I can't remember so, how this was helpful to the cause. So do you know if it was uh, during the War of Independence or the, uh, the Revolution? I thought it was part of the independence, yeah. I don't know. Do you think it was part of... Well, I guess we'll find out a little later. It's always confusing to me. As, a, as an American to me, independence and revolution I mean, are I synonymous with that. I the that we're going to. Yeah, but they're far different here in Mexico. Revolution. A little photo exhibit here on the way to the castle. All about uh, about sustainability. Sustainability. And it features um, small villages and indigenous people and how they work the land to get back to it and to create. And on the way to the Castillo, passing by the Museo de Arte Moderno. And this is what we're looking for. Some little boy still that's going to serve us some lunch. There's the ticket line. It's not too bad, but there's a line. We'll get up through the Castillo. All right, let's get in line. And here we are walking up the ramp to the Castillo. Nice, pleasant little walk here. Castillo de Chapultepec. Yeah. I do stop and get a ticket for my camera. But uh, other than that, it was things free. are okay. Yeah, things are free. We're not going to tell you why it was free. <laughs> this is Jose Maria Morelos y Pabon. I don't know his uh, story here, but maybe we'll find out a little later. Uh, we finally made it to the top. It took us, I don't know, six, seven minutes to get here. The entrance. Lisa just mentioned that uh, she thought she might be uh, feeling like she's in London, the Tower of London. So it looks like we have to stop past by another another guard ticket taker booth there. This is getting her bag checked. They caught her. She was trying to smuggle in a bottle of water. She's gotta throw that up. <laughs> Eres un criminal. I drank a bunch first. So here we are at Chapultepec Castle, at the top of the Mount of Chapultepec, which means Grasshopper Hill. This is a sacred place where, for several ethnic groups, people revere because of its rivers and water springs. So we were wrong. Not the War of Independence, not the War of the Revolution, but the war against the United States in the mid-1800s. This place was the Presidential Palace at one point. And there's a mural on the ceiling. Yeah, and some beautiful stained glass windows. Wonder if uh, Diego uh, Rivera or uh, is the name of Orozco? Orozco painting any of these murals. It's a place of beauty. Wow, look at these things. Giant snow globe. 
never snow in there though. This uh, yeah, this door was sent by the Tsar of Russia here in 1851. It's made of uh, minimal la malakita. I'm not exactly sure what that means in Spanish. Maybe malakita. It's beautiful. So all these, all these guys here were the, uh, the viceroys during the time that Spain rolled over Mexico. 62 of them. None of them were born in Spain. Is this thing uh, exquisite? in this room. Conquistadors, and uh, I agree. from the early 1800s, baptismal font. history from after the War of Independence, the young nation in basically 
between Texas and Mexico. It's the first company of Texan volunteers from New Orleans. Acta de Independencia del Imperio Mexicano. Anunciada por su junta soberana congregada en la capital de Ellen. 28 de septiembre de 1824. This was done by one of the battle of the Cinco de Mayo, 1862. Constitution of 1917 here. The war, the revolution here. Again, for the Americans, the revolution in Mexico is not the, not the same the same as the uh, War of Independence. Uh, yeah, the revolution is when they finally uh, came up with uh, really a democracy here in Mexico. But again, these murals are just fabulous. All right, we finally made it outside. And I guess that's sort of what I initially expected when I climbed up to. Just expect a little bit of ruins, you know, a little bit of place. Not really expecting to see you know, a Mexican national or a national museum. But um, I think I'm gonna go find a place to sit down for a few minutes. See those and want to run down there, jump in one of those boats, looking out over the city. This is a really, really interesting and massive mural. It's multi walled. I'm not sure I can even capture it. about the uh, Mexican Revolution.
once again, as in many things Mexican. We thought we were out. We thought we had seen everything. Guess what? We had. Things elaborate here. This thing is from uh, the era of around the 1864. <laughs> Forecast today, possibly for some thunderstorms, and it's looking a little dark here and out there in the distance. And again, this is looking straight down Paseo de la Reforma. Off in the distance, as you can see, the Angel de la Independencia, one of the most recognizable structures here in Mexico City. Great view from up here. But not as not as good of a view as you're gonna get from one of these towers. So there's Paseo de la Reforma, there's a page of the So that direction is Roma Norte. And beyond it, La Condesa. And, uh, from so you look pollution today, you can see some mountains in the distance, well maybe you can't see them. Oh you can, off to the right, you can see them. where the uh, reds okay. What did you say about the grasshoppers? That's uh, Chipotlepec meat grasshopper. And here's the uh, grasshopper getting water. There he is, you're right. Okay. Here are those uh, ninos. Killed here defending Mexico, defending this castle during the war with Mexico, during the war with the United States. Pretty famous throughout all of Mexico. And a view of the city from a different direction up here. You can see why they had a castle because it certainly commands a large, large area. Highest point in a long, long ways. Uh, what did you think of the uh, Castillo here? Well, Lisa? we didn't even get all of the Castillo because there's just so much to see. But I learned a lot, and the views are beautiful. Oh my gosh, yes. All around. Uh, yes. Panoramic views of Chapultepec Park and the city beyond. Pretty amazing. Yeah, and, I mean, and if you're coming to Mexico City, this should definitely be on your uh, list of things to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, once again, we tired out before we uh, could see everything. Yeah, so, so we'll home. be back. We're going to go home, take a shower, and... Uh, <laughs> recuperate for later on this evening. But until then, may your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you're notified when we put out new videos. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista. <laughs>